Oh, welcome back my friends. Well, we're decorating again. And these are the rooms we did uh, earlier. And uh, another room. Mrs. K does like a birds. So we have a feature room, a feature wall in the dining room. So one of the first jobs to get to, uh, all the wallpaper off and uh, Mrs. K normally does that. And uh, then you do need to take off or get a qualified competent person to remove uh, all the um, electrics if there is any on uh, the wall and we always leave the screws in so that you can find them through the wallpaper and then you can actually find the original holes and the raw plugs and obviously the uh, electricity has been isolated these walls have been pasted painted in the past uh, any large areas of new plaster will need to be painted with anything that uh, you've got you can see there it's been done in the past just so that the paste doesn't soak in and dry up and leave uh, a, a dry spot our walls are not square so I'll show you what uh, we do do and getting around some of the corners. This bit here is always quite tricky, but we learned very quickly that, uh, yeah, we got the paper off, but what you need to do is just rub your hands over it. And if you find any lumps, bumps, little bits of grit, we just sandpaper everything. Because if you leave a little bit of grit on some thin paper and you wipe it and rub it down, finish it off, you can actually see it. So sand and uh, do a, a hand sweep. Your hands are really good in finding all the uh, imperfections. Any holes, get those filled with uh, a suitable filler, depending on how deep or how, what they look like, how deep they are, etc. Then sand back to a smooth finish or best you can. Our walls are not good. They are all over the place. Behind the cupboard, it won't hurt. So I do the hanging, Mrs. K does the pasting, and uh, we mix up uh, hopefully enough to do that whole wall. Uh, a decent pair of scissors uh, for cutting the paper to a rough cut, and then a decent brush to suit to uh, put the wallpaper on. And uh, Mrs. K is going to use the uh, kitchen work surface as the uh, pasting area. For the fish finishing off, uh, you do need a good pair of wallpaper scissors, especially with the curved edge. We'll show you later what that's for. And definitely a plumb line to get your paper square. You don't have to buy anything expensive. That's the uh, pull cord out of the uh, bathroom. An old one, obviously. Uh, as a bit of a tip, we use the overlap border uh, adhesive it's mainly for putting border on but we use it for all the joints and uh, we've got that pot there but uh, when you do buy it in the tubes as you know you can never get it all out so we cut the tubes open and that includes all um, items that we buy we always uh, make sure we get every little bit out because you'll find that the manufacturers always make sure there's some left in so you don't get your money's worth so we've had a quick look and uh, Two rolls of paper go that way just around the corner. So if it doesn't go around that corner very well, we can go from right to left to match up to it. And you won't see the joint uh, doesn't match up. And we've got a couple of three rolls that go up and around that corner. So if the joint isn't good there, we can start fresh again there. And then the last uh, two, uh, two pieces will go into this corner. And uh, another tip, when you paint anything, always paint around the corner so that you haven't got any uh, gaps in case you make a little mistake. Yeah. In a minute, yeah. So we've marked it at the bottom, squared the paper off and just rubbed it through and uh, we'll cut that off now and that'll be ready for the next piece. And this is where me and Mrs. K start falling out. 
So while Mrs. Kay's putting the paste on, uh, I'm going to put the overlap along there and I measure out the width of the wallpaper and I put the border adhesive there so it reaches the joint because when we first started papering we had the joints lifting up so it's uh, well worth it but just make sure you rub the well wallpaper down well with a wet cloth to remove any of the border adhesive paste else it will start shining and you'll notice and it'll stick out like a sore thumb. So Mrs K has been doing this for about 30 odd years and uh, she knows just exactly how much to put on and uh, we get on like a house on fire. So it's easy to carry through. Uh, you just fold it over onto there. So there's only a small strip to carry. It can be easily peeled off once it's offered up to the wall. So uh, to get the line and get it to just overlap so it looks nice, uh, we run the bent side of the scissors along there and then you cut it just to one side, roughly the width of the scissors, which then gives you a reasonable overlap away from the wall. Makes a neater, nicer job. When we did round the uh, fireplace, obviously it was a little bit more cut and see. And when we did round the bread oven door, we actually sacrificed two pieces, half and half it worked out at. So we cut, got it half decent, and then recut it again. And uh, we didn't, uh, didn't do too bad there. And because it's so difficult to do into the uh, windows, uh, you can use a Stanley knife to cut the edge. A little bit dark, but it, uh, it does a, a reasonable job. Another tip, uh, always have two rolls on the go in case uh, the pattern falls different and you can save a small strip because you want to make sure we get to the end with plenty of wallpaper left. So we've got this uh, little awkward bit. No, not Skylar. Well, get out of the way. Um, if you do cut too much off, you can see there that line there. If you do cut too much off, just stick some paper underneath. Nobody will know. I uh, hope you found that uh, useful. And uh, just remember if you do it yourself, DIY, don't worry about the outcome because if somebody else does it and makes the same mess you've had to pay for it but if you try and do some work yourself it doesn't cost anything no no i'll let this uh, dry a little bit more and then i'll get the uh, sockets and light fittings back on and uh, i've got a few more little jobs to do before i can get back up to the allotment happy diying Till next time, my friends, and don't forget on the end screen will be all the playlists, uh, the playlist for my DIY uh, escapades that we shared. Take care, my friends. Ta-ra for now.